guys. Last month, I spent some time in Colorado with my family and I was able to do some bird photography just a little bit south and to the west of Denver. And boy, I tell you what, all the birds that left Louisiana seem to have headed over to Colorado for their breeding season. So it was a real pleasure to see some of the birds that I briefly saw here in the springtime, but also I saw so many new to me birds is what I call them. Um, I know the folks that live in Colorado or out West probably see these birds all the time, but for me, it was really exciting to see some new uh, songbirds and a variety of other birds. But um, anyway, I thought I would show you some of the songbirds that I was able to see. This was a pretty set of cottonwood trees along a big lake in one of the state parks. I really had just stopped to get my bearings, but heard the birds singing as soon as I parked, so I took a little walk and right away found these beautiful Bullock's Orioles. It was my first time seeing them, so I was really pretty awestruck by them. Um, the deep orange one is the adult male, and the ones that are mostly yellow with a black mark on their neck, those are the immature males. Um, I didn't get a photo of a female, but the, they look similar to the immature males, but um, they don't have the neck marking. I ended up spending a lot of time exploring the state park. Not only did it have that big lake, but it also has the South Platte River running through it. Um, so this was a place along the river where I just kept returning to. There were tons of trails and it was just really good bird watching. One of the birds that I saw most was the yellow warbler. And I've seen them in Louisiana during migration seasons, but only really briefly. So it was really great to have them all around me. <laughs> and they were just singing up a storm. There were also a lot of beautiful wildflowers just everywhere along the trails. I'm not really well versed in plants and flowers, but I tried to look things up and I believe these are milk thistles. And this is a prickly poppy, I believe. And this is a tiger swallowtail butterfly over a more milk thistle, which was really all over the place. It has beautiful purple flowers. So I just checked out a lot of different parts of this park and this is up on one of the trails on the hillside above the lake looking down and there were just tons of birds. One of my other best pals for the trip besides the yellow warbler was the spotted towhee. I had not seen them before. I've seen eastern towhees in Louisiana um, so these guys were new to me and they were pretty much everywhere I went. Um, I just love the beautiful reddish eyes and they were belting out songs so it was just so fun to see them everywhere. This is another view of the South Platte River and there are trails on either side that are just really beautiful to walk along. And another new to me bird was the yellow breasted chat. Uh, they have a distinctive call, but unfortunately I didn't capture anything on video. Western meadow larks were another new bird for me. So just beautiful birds. And you can see this one was just singing away. And the lesser goldfinch. I also saw an American goldfinch, which I didn't get a photo of, but um, I had not seen those either. Now, I did leave this park and venture to other locations while I was in Colorado. This was another large state park just a little further south of where I was. And while I didn't see many birds that morning, the scenery was so spectacular. There was one area where I could hear a lot of birds, but the trail was really pretty narrow with thick shrubs on either side. So that always makes it hard to see the birds, even though I might be able to hear them. Um, there was this one hummingbird who let me have a look though. I had better luck on trails at other parks though. And I finally got to spend a little bit of time with cedar waxwings, which I see back in Louisiana, but only very, very high in the treetops. So it was really cool to have some in the lower branches here. And my old pal, the gray catbird, I have mentioned them in other videos, I think. They're always eluding me in Louisiana. I just love their song. They really do sound like a cat if you haven't heard one before. And this beautiful little flycatcher was just singing its heart out. Um, I believe that it's a western wood peewee. Um, just really cool little vest that he has on. And another new for me bird was the black-headed crow beak. I just 
stumbled upon it along a trail and he just was absolutely not shy. He was kind of hanging out, doing his thing right in front of me. At one last stop, this was a smaller park. I got out there really too late that morning. It was already super hot and the sun was too high in the sky. The lighting was just terrible, but it was still beautiful to walk around. And although I didn't see many birds, the ones that I did get to see were awesome. This is a lazuli bunting. I had gotten a glimpse of one the day before at a different park and wasn't able to get a good shot. So I was really happy that I got a second chance. And I also got to see a mountain bluebird. And I see plenty of Eastern bluebirds in Louisiana, but just loved getting to see the mountain variety. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. All right, well, that was my Colorado songbird extravaganza. And I hope you've been doing really well and getting out in nature, either with your camera or just for a walk or a bird watching session or whatever it is that brings you joy. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.